Hi guys, I'm Mark and I'm an oyster boy and it's brew day again. Uh, this week I'm going to be making something a little bit different, something I've not done on the channel before. This week I'm going to be making a sugar wash. Now, a sugar wash is a high ABV liquid that you make by fermenting sugar and water and you can generally achieve that by using something like a turbo yeast. And the one that we're going to be making today will be about 20% ABV and then I'm going to run that through an air still pro and get some nice clean neutral spirit out the other side. Now, to make this, I'm going to be using a Turbo 8 Classic Pack from Still Spirits. That comes with a packet of Turbo Classic 8 yeast. And on the back of it, there's a full set of instructions which tell you how much water and what temperature the water needs to be when you start. Uh, also comes with some finings which you add at the end and a packet of Turbo Carbon that you add just after you've added your yeast. Uh, I'm going to mix that with 20 litres of water at 30 degrees and 8 kilos of brewing sugar. So uh, it's a fairly simple process. Start off with your water. I've already got the fermenter here is clean, sanitised and ready to go. So I am going to add my 20 litres of 30 degree water and then I'm going to add my 8 kilos of sugar, get that all stirred in and then I'll be adding the turbo yeast sachet and the carbon, mixing that up and tucking it away about 25 degrees C for roughly about five days for this to ferment out. It'll be very quick and it should be a nice clean ferment as well with the, uh, the carbon and the turbo yeast packet. So I'm going to show you how I get this all mixed together and we will crack on. Okay, so I've got my 20 litres of water and if we see where we're up to with the temperature, yeah, close enough to 30 degrees, 30 and a half, 31. That'll do me. So. Next step is we're going to get these eight kilos of sugar in and get it dissolved. There's going to be people that are watching this that are saying, Oh, why are you using the turbo yeast? Why don't you use bread yeast and tomato paste and citric acid and blah, blah, blah. Uh, long and short of it for me is I probably trust people that work in a laboratory and make things with science rather than people who live in a forest and make things in an old bin. So I'm going to stick with the turbo yeast, but you do you. Try out the other things, see which one works best for you. Um, I know people have done both and said that there's barely any difference in performance or flavour, especially if you're running it through an air still, you're going to be stripping pretty much everything out, so you're not really going to notice a difference. Okay, now that all of that sugar is mixed in, I'm going to add the Turbo 8 Classic Yeast. See, it's a big old pouch, there's a lot of stuff in there. I'm not too bothered that some of that's clumped up because it's going to be a very vigorous fermentation and that will take care of any other mixing that needs to be done. I'm also going to add this packet of turbo carbon. It's going to help strip out any unwanted flavours. Okay, so that's it done now. I've added all of the eight kilos of sugar, dissolved that into the water, added the yeast, turbo yeast and yeast nutrient and the liquid carbon as well. And you can see behind me it is in this stainless steel fermenter on the side. I'm gonna carry this down to the shed and pop it in a nice temperature controlled unit around 25 degrees. That should be fermented out in five days to give us a nice 20% sort of base wash. Uh, at which point I'm going to run that through an Air Still Pro and we can see what fun we have with the stuff that comes out the other side. Um, I, I do have a two-part fining sachet to add. I may or may not film that. I essentially just need to degas the liquid and then uh, add the finings one after the other. I think there's an hour between the two additions and then leave it for 24 hours and everything should drop out and make it ready to, uh, to pass through the still. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one where we'll be running this through the still. See you soon. Cheers.